since we left the country on Friday, how many Americans have gotten out of Afghanistan since we pulled out? How many Afghan allies have gotten out since the Taliban was in complete control of the country? I understand. Zero. And in fact, we have six airplanes at Mazar Sharif Airport, six airplanes with American citizens on them as I speak, uh, also with these interpreters, and the Taliban is holding them hostage for demands right now. They, uh, we have, the state has cleared uh, these flights, and the Taliban will not let them leave the airport. So I'm sorry, the answer to your question is zero. And that's my concern, is they're going to demand more and more, whether it be cash or legitimacy, as the government of Afghanistan. Let, let me pick up on this, because I didn't know this. You're saying that there are Americans on airplanes ready to fly out of Afghanistan right now, and they're not being allowed out because Taliban is making demands. What demands are the Taliban making? Well, they are not, uh, they are not clearing the airplanes to depart. They, they've set, sat at the uh, airport for the last couple of days, uh, these planes, and they're not allowed to leave. Uh, we know the reason why is because the Taliban wants something in exchange. This is really, Chris, turning into a hostage situation where they're not going to allow American citizens to leave until they get full recognition from the United States of America. My concern is that Zal Khalizad, our special envoy, who's met with the Taliban, they're in talks right now, uh, and I think I, I worry his recommendation to the administration will be to recognize the Taliban as the official government of the United States, a, a Taliban organization uh, that is a terrorist organization.